Thank you. Council, Council, you would need a big bus to get all those um, bandits in the in bus and carry them to the police station. <laughs> Too many of them. Uh, this is a classic example of no honor among thieves. <laughs> Uh, welcome back, uh, Mr. Witness. Council, ko ibisimila sedo. I hope that uh, you have recuperated and that you are able to proceed. Namera bitum ihakilo muruta notole saying isitenten no iladiamola. So you chased after Aziz Tamba for your money. Uh, and uh, you told us that he kept telling you that the Keba or the big man or Yaya Jame asked for more time uh, and, uh, and that he would pay later. Amuntai ko asistamba akatunyina fula yonko Keba wala Yaya Jame akatunyina fula ko alie watu odiala abajo lale nyatundu. Did you... Did you eventually got to meet Assis Tamba anywhere? Ako, for be kola ining Assis Tamba fango kungo nata nyoje le dula to bang. Kanyoje dula dolto, we see each other in places. Pro kanya pa kamol le kanata la. But I usually want to pounce on him, but people separated us. Do you recall bumping him, bumping into him in Buyam? Kau hakilo bahkan ni ina abenta sengara terenta nyom abuyam. Jalan mudi. That is true. Could you tell us about that encounter? Allah terima nyom abuyam. Fempon nyang waktu bang. No terima nyolo bia kabeng biam. That meeting in biam. Oh, mbot nana mbe steering dam, mbot nana suah kono je. I left where I was staying. I went to Bubai's compound. There's a, a shop there called Jamboy Shop. When I came out of the shop, where the Biam Hospital was being built, the market. Yeah. When I came out and I saw a pickup parked by the side of the road, as soon as I saw him, I recognized him. Because At that time, Ndongombub and others were sitting under a tree by the BM uh, market. Then I saw a Standing close to them there, I hurried up and came. Because now follow me Because if he saw me first, then before I could get to him, if he gets into his vehicle, he will speed away. And if I followed him to Kanilai, I never saw him. When I saw him standing over these uh, individuals, I quickly crossed the road and uh, went to him. When he looked behind and saw me, he left Ndongo and the others sitting where they were. He came and met me by the vehicle. We greeted each other. The greetings was short. I said to him, there will not be an elaborate greeting here. I am after my money, the money that we worked for. Now the work is completed, and we have not gotten our money. Each time, we saw you, you will tell us things, and you will not do as you say. Today, I want my money. He said to me, do you not hear what I told you? I said to him, what have you said to me? He said the elder did not pay our money yet. He once, when the work is completed, he will pay the money all at once. 
Who was, who was he referring to when he said Keba Mankodo Jofolo? Akwa bejuma lema na ko Keba Mankodo Jofolo. Keba ni wala mu ya jame ti. The elder is ya ya jame because he kafai ne Keba because they call him the elder. Wala kafai je alpha now. Some call him alpha now. Yes. Could you say that again? Say you come back. Kafai ni adi alpha now. Alpha now. Angami romu la kango di jola kango. I think that is their language in jola for an elder. I said to him, each time you tell us that, the, the labor of a worker, when it is done, you should give him what is his. And we have hired people in the course of this work. And some of those, each time we meet, they used to disturb us. He said to me that, I will pay the money. I am from Banjul. I am on my way to Kanilai. When I depart from there, I will return to Banjul. I will discuss with the elder. I said your discussion with the elder, your discussion with the elder, it will come after we have Beating each other here to, to court. Ita, ita because he will not leave this spot without paying my money. This is what I want now. After we fought here and get to the police, the police will now establish a communication channel between me and Yaya Jame. He asked me which police will have access to Yaya Jame. I said to him, which today, police would make you reach Yaya Jame? Isn't, it, isn't that what he said? Uh, could, could you ask him to repeat it again, please? Could you repeat again? Please? I said to him, I want us to fight here. So that when we fight here, the police will arrest us. And when they take us, Yaya Jame will hear about it. He asked me which police will face Yaya Jame. I said there is no one above the law. He said, we'll, we'll see about that. Country. I, I rushed towards him to, him to hold him by the scruff of the neck. Ndongombe held my hand. When he held my hand, I turned and looked at him. I said to him, my senior, leave my hand. And let us, uh, uh, arrange each other with, let us arrange each other with Aziz. Because this man is not prepared to pay me my money. Ndongo said to me, Keta, the issue of this money, if you would listen to what I will say, leave this issue, the money issue alone. Because the way this thing is going, developing, it could, be, it could bring you, you will not be lucky tomorrow in it. After Ndongo said that to me. And what does he mean uh, by you wouldn't be lucky? Ndongo la kumo koto mumene di kafu yanko itete lucky la ye. Wala lucky la ye. Wode mumalo kuo koto long. Wala mudale nisi do no problem mudale. I don't know the meaning of that, but it is that in my own thinking, it could be I will get into problem. Did Ndongo Mbub tell you anything uh, about what this money could mean for your life? Ndongo Mbub dung. The only thing he said is that it could land you into trouble. After he said that to me, I got angry with Ndongo himself, very angry with him. I said to him, Ndongo, when I initially came here in Biam, I never played with you. And if you were to be older than me, the margin would not be very much. But I used to address you as my senior. I said, now, if I have a problem, a money issue with this individual, and you are not standing in support of me, to the extent that you are telling me that it could land me into trouble, he said to me, it's not that, the refusal of us is to pay you is what is pleasing to me. As we were in that discussion, Asis jumped into his vehicle and went away. I turned towards Ndongo. 
Komba Junkula. I wanted to knock him. Bubai Sanya Yambulomuta. Bubai Sanya held my hand. Koko Nyeben Junkula. Ndongo asked me, are you going to hit me? Kai because it lay assist kanandim. I said because you allowed assist to escape Konye from keta. me. Koko He said to me, Keta. Nga foyoko. I told you that. Ah, haki lola. Op, take, you, take things easy. Work with your senses. Assist ila nyum problemo. Assist problem. Nyum manta hanyi samade. I'm afraid tomorrow. <coughs> Kayoko, I said to him, whatever is lies behind it, if there is law existing in this country, I'll be behind that. Well, except if they showed power to me. He told me that might be the end of everything. He told me, well, for my job, uh, uh, the job we did at this hospital in Buyam, it's the market. Now, about the job we did at this market, I think the whole thing lies in my hands, me, in, myself, and Dongombu. Now they've mixed up everything in my hands. Then I became calm. Now I'm doing APRC's job, the things that they bring, sugar and other things. If you also don't listen to me, Asis will land you in a very serious problem. I told him whatever lies behind that. No problem. No problem for me. Boda. That's where we were. The on the second day, in the evening, Ndongo was going to their, grand, their, to their place where they used to sit and chat. I entered a sitting. He found me sitting down. Bubai Sanyan's compound gate, his friend. He said to me, Esa. Keta. Keta. I told you that. Forget about this issue and leave it in the hands of God. I said to him that. Ndongo. Ndongo, I will not leave this with God. Because God will not give me money that I will use to pay this individual. And the work that I did before I started, I borrowed people's monies which I used to do the work I did. And that money I don't think God will put that. That God will come down and put it. But in what you are saying, I will not take it. He said, then, uh, go after him. There is no problem. I was there. Siddharth, my junior, said to me that I am going to Binjona. They said my father was sick. Because because his mother had a compound in Biam, and that was where he was living in. I said to him, there is no problem. I will follow this issue. Anything that came out of it, when I uh, hand the money, because telephone when I uh, receive the money, because I don't have a telephone, I have no telephone with me, but your mother is here, your sister here. Uh, any, in any case, you will uh, get to know something about that it. Not, not, uh, so that uh, eventually left Binjona. to Binjona. So I took up the case. I went and came back. Sometimes I will uh, visit Kanlai three times. I never saw Asis. I was in that situation. It took a long time. It's not a one-week affair. This is even more than a month. It's more than three months. I was following this money. I was there. Where I was working. They removed me from that place. A man came to the Biam Hospital. He 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 came to the Biam Hospital. 
to fix those uh, equipment. Before they start the work, you, you have to fix those, uh, uh, those rods. Yeah. In the work, na doko na experience na experience sota kono i developed experience in it mano ni nata fo nyoko the man then said to me say mbete tala mbala la yitara mbala doko la because ite ni doko ina mna ka bari ya hakilo sota kono i will draw you closer to me so that you could be beside me you've not done this work but you have shown a high degree of njato sonta nya doko the standing of the work because you working ka wakili doko la because i was very enthusiastic about the work I said to him, what in what? From time to time, you would allow me, my money is in Kanila, which I am running after. He said, but on Saturdays, we used to work only half day. You could uh, work that, uh, follow that, that uh, issue on Saturdays and Sundays. I said, what is uh, coming? Now, book a bullet will connode. Ella book a go? Alana book a now. Alana book a bullet Saturday in the Masocono. And but his coming was not always during the Saturdays or the Sundays. When you be similar in front of both, Nibita Jawata, what is he informing? I come to Sam, maybe I'll be suffering. He said to me, fine, but any day that you are going there, inform me a day before. Beje, I was there in a time sorrow when I have time. When vehicles are departing to Kanilai, Kabula Motola, I will join them Kanilai, and go to Kanilai. I never met with Asis. I used to go to Jalaman's compound. Because uh, apart from God, he was the reason. When I go to Jalaman, I explain the whole matter to him. He said to me, up till now, Aziz has not paid your money. I told him, Aziz has not paid us our money. He said to me, truly speaking, I was the intermediary between you. To give, to, to give you information about the work which was under Aziz. But I don't know anything about it. He said to me, as it is now, myself speaking to you, right now I will not speak anymore. I asked, why would you not speak anymore? He said to me that Asis is our, our nephew, and Asis is very close to the elder. Now, what does he do? He goes to our relatives and tells them that Jalamang Jalamang is usually um, sides with the Mandinkas. After he said that, my relatives used to call me and they speak to me. He wants to bring develop discord between me and my family, my, my relatives. That is why I have uh, distanced myself from it. <coughs> it said to me that, but, it's a try. but try it's a and go to Pajame. He was the Alcalo, Kanilai Alcalo. the Alcalo of Kanilai. Kaidi. I said to him, really? Binti tanoje. Today I will not go there because I am working in Biam. Next week, if God wills it, next mina, week, mina pabia. I will come to the old man and I will narrate the issue to him. Did, did you hear what he said? He gave me my fare. I went back. The following day, that uh, one week time, I came back one week. I found at his home. I found Jalamang at his home. I said to him, today I want to reach the elder. He told me, well, your man himself should come here today. I said, is Asis coming here today? He said, yes, he should come here. I said, okay. I came out of Jalamang's compound. The moment I stood at Jalamang's compound gate, Asis passed with his vehicle. He went to Yaya Jame's compound. We were going to Sanyangkunda. The gate around that area. He 
He went through that gate. I bring Niger. When I saw him, go Asis. I called him Asis. Amonson Dangula. He refused to answer me. Come before the Katanoma. I wanted to run and follow him. Ojaro Mbembe Lorinje. The soldier standing there. Moolone. I know him. Kafa is Sajini Yaya. They called him Sajini Yaya. Sajini Yaya Balde. Sajini Yaya Balde. Abota Fuladu Tabanani. From Fuladu Tabanani. He told me you will not pass this uh, step. You have no right to pass here. Wait as is here. Whatever you want to see him for, when he comes back, you can uh, discuss that. I said to Sajin Yaya, you are also not a good man. Because this problem between me and Asis, you are close to Yaya. I came to you, I narrated this problem to you. What you replied me was, you said Yaya made you responsible for his goods and sheep. Asis is their relative. I will not go between them. You are a Gambian. I'm a Gambian. This is Asis. Whenever he's talking, he doesn't talk, he doesn't speak in French. In English. He speaks in French. If you look at this man properly, he's not a Gambian. Now you want to side with him. Were you, were you implying that Aziz Tamba was Senegalese? He speaks French. Each time he speaks, he puts French into his speaking. Here in our Gambia, a pure Gambian, when he speaks, will put English into his speaking. So were you implying that Aziz Tamba was Senegalese of Kazama's extraction? Yes. Yes. Yes, comes from Kazamas. Proceed, please. After, After that happened, I came and stood by the checkpoint. One of my companions was, was there. They call him Bula. He was a soldier from Lamin. I explained the matter to him. He said to me, boy, thank you, thank you, lady. Well, we are thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I said, what is thank you, thank you? He said, we have no... We have no... We have, we have, we have, we have, okay, we have, we have, we have, we have, no we have no promotion, we are genius. The matter that you are narrating here is above our heads. Because if this case should uh, start here, until you come face to face with Yajame, if we get into that issue, it will end up on us. I said, okay. I sat there. I drank a tire there. After when I was ready, when he was ready from inside, he came out with the vehicle. I raised my hand to him. His driver stood. I called out Asis. I came to collect my money. He asked me which money. I said to him, You are asking me which money? I said, The contract that we signed for the supply of gravel and sand. He, he asked me, Where's the document? The docu document that we signed? I said to him, Today, you're asking me for a document today? I said, As is. Was, was there, in fact, a written document? There was no written document. <laughs> there was no written document. I said to him, Now you come here and, tell me kaitola. and ask me about a paper that was written. And you, Asis, we sat down face to face. face, to face. We prepared an agreement by word, to, by word of mouth. But we didn't take our hands to write. Today you are standing here asking me about a document. I said there is no document. I said but this money you will pay this money. He said what if I don't pay the money? I said to him if you don't pay it's my, it's my head your head
Even this your driver will not escape. Because what driver will not come from Bengal, no? Because at that time I was also angry with the driver. The driver jumped and asked me what have I done in your discussion? Because you are asking me what have I done in your discussion? Because you are asking me what have I done in your discussion? I said because I'm always when I'm discussing with Asis. Bokal lakura. Before we are done. Come out of bush in Kato. You 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 speed away. Kata. And and leave. Ako Asis ilta malamoto da andung Asis ilta teta doku wala. He said Asis owns his vehicle and Asis employing. To work. Whatever Asis tells me, that's what I will do. I told him then move yourself away from this issue. I said to Asis, Asis, Sila Alala. You should fear Allah and pay my money. You come to the place where I work. You see the young men there. And all of them, they, they have their eyes on me. Tomorrow, whatever difficulties I face, it will be because of you. He decided, he ordered his driver to leave. I said, as drive for law. I said, told the driver to stop. Drive for car, better drive. I could drive for law. The driver wanted to leave. He told the driver, okay, wait. He asked me what has happened. He's, I said to him, Asis, we are not give, going to give you anything, and we are not ready to pay our money. He turned. He put his hand in his pocket. I could Took out money. Nearly two thousand mafanamu. Around two thousand dollars. I owed him. He gave me that money. Ngokodo muda. I took the because money. Because you don't Because I will not leave the money behind. Ibo kodo no ma. If we are following money. Adu ya tanya wanya. However small the amount may be. Nimeka katatoti. If if we are not a troubled person. Nimeka mbondi wamute bulo. Whatever they offer you, take that amount. Wait to bulo kono. And keep that. Alisina kumo continent. Then you can continue. Kamu ni ngokodo je. When I saw this amount, Jesus Lord are demanding. Well, I I became a little. Many nyakuya sambakang. Then I became a little pleased. Because singa jela nenga nyakuya sikeno nyungkodo nyungfanta sotlambula. Because if I have a cloudy face, he might not even give me that money. Sai nenga nyanya diandi. Then I try I I try to show him a pleasant face. I kodo dumbulo kono. He gave me the money. I did not drunga muda. He gave me the money. I took it. Atara na poso kono. He went it went into my pocket. Kai sai nyadi lamu. I said now how about the rest? Akonya ning ya ya. He said, if Yaya pays me, I will call you. You come here and come and pick up the rest of the money. I said to him, but I don't have a telephone. He told me, I used to call you through Bubai's phone in his compound. I'll call you through that same phone. I said, okay. He left. After that, Tata Jalamaya, I went to Jalamang's compound. He asked me, have you come to an agreement? I said, yes, we, we came to an agreement, but it, it wasn't nice. I said, because he did not pay the money, but he has spared me some money. $2,000. $2,000. He said, okay. I said, now I am going to Pajame. He said to me, go there. Tata Pajamea. I went to Pajame. And, and by, who was Pajame? No. Well, I'm Kanila Ali Kalo. Kalo, Kali Kali Ali Ji. The Ali Kalo of Kanila Ali Kalo. Proceed, please. Kabilum Futa Ali Ji. When I got there, no content did okay. I greeted. Yenjo Jola Kamala. They responded back to me in Jola. Unko Eko. I said to them. Unje Jamu Di Jola. I said to them in Jola. I don't speak Jola. Do Konyo Ko. Aho Jamu Di Jola. I. Someone said to me, you don't understand Jola, yet still you are responding in Jola. I said to the person, yes. I said, I heard that one, but I don't go far Because in Jola. Because the, my grandmother, uh, from my father's side, from my father's side is a Jola. I said to him, but we don't understand Jola. He said that the old man is not here. He has gone to Jamekunda. After maybe five minutes, ten minutes time. I was there between five and ten minutes. The old man returned. I greeted him. He responded back in Jola. We greeted each other there. And then we started the, the discussion. And I said to him, the old man, I don't understand Jola. I speak. He asked me what happened. Uh, Mr. Witness, did you explain the whole story to the old man? I explained the whole story to the old man. 
told him the whole story. And Kab- what, what did he say? After I told him the whole story, he looked down, he looked up, he looked at me, he said to me, young man, this uh, issue you have, this is not my way. Between me and the elder, we are not in good terms. He said, between him and Yajame, whom they call the elder, he said to me, we are not in good terms. He said, I cannot therefore go in before you. I said, fine. I came up to the Abantaba. As you are going towards Woni, there was a shop there. The Imam's shop. I went to the Imam as well. After I narrated the whole story to him too, the, what he replied to me was that he said, the mosque is my way. <coughs> he said to me, it is true, the, the procedure that you have taken, you came to seek assistance, but he said to me, my only assistance is in the mosque. He said to work on this issue and meet your jamme. He said, I cannot do that. For I am not able to do that. He said to me, look somewhere else. There was one man called Landing. A family member with Jalaman and the others. He was a teacher by profession. I went to him. I told him too. He also responded to me. What he ended up saying to me was that he said, after you have gone into an agreement with someone like this, as his trousers is wider than your own. You cannot get close to Assisi's program. He said to me, I cannot involve myself in this issue. Where Assisi's voice reaches, mine does not reach there. And he could block my chance here. If he even knows that, we are together here. Say to him, landing. You will not take the load for me. He said, no. I said there is no problem. There. I returned back to Woni. I went to Jalamang's house. And all that transpired with all these people I have met. I said everything to Jalamang. Jalamang said to me, Keta. Keta. Asis is very crafty. He said to me, This ma money of yours. Ma ta sot la- I am not saying that he will not have it. But he will follow this issue for a very long time. I said to him, but now, Jalamang, then assist me so that I could be able to see Yaya. He said, I will not involve in this issue because Assist has brought discord between me and all of my relatives. I said, there is no problem then. Jalaman spared me fair that day too. I returned back to Biam. I was there. Lundo. One day. One week time. One week time. I returned back to Kanilai. I did not find assist there. I returned back. Another week. Another week. Tataje. I went back. I found assist there. I said, Asis, I have come to collect my money today as well. Asis told me, can't you understand what I told you? I told him what you tell me is always never clear. Because by the time you were calling me, the time we made this agreement, me and you, up to this time, saying that if Yaya gives you the money, you will call me. Now it is becoming two months. So I told him, so now the issue is, the way it's going, I'm not happy about how it's progressing. He He said to me, Keta, this money, I will tell you something very clear. I said, "Uh uh-huh. 
akonye yaya ko wate jolo he said yaya said he will not pay you eh ngo asisi i said eh asis wonte to nyaade that's not true akonye kan nanne he said you are now insulting me i said no i'm not but insulting man, man, you but whatever is not the truth what i want to offer la ko to nyaalam i will not take that as the truth because yaya jamme because yaya jamme akam also million wala he gives millions to people nte la ko do me yaalam ka mo wuri chema fulasi my money which is less than 200000 na siata dala si wuri chema nen damanding if it is a little bit more will be about 100000 plus Yaya kalo aka fuka tanta jola. Yaya now says he will not pay me. Kai wonta to nyaata. I said that's not true. Kai yaya ben nako do jole tele ya woto. I said then yaya will pay my money to you. Ite nako do do. You eat my money. Nda ko mokko yata nyoy jewe. We were angry with each other there. Wolunga kata nya duwa jabolati. That day I was just fortunate. Kato wo that day fam wolun fonga nyanta mutala la. Because that day they, they should have arrested me. Bad na kaf nyoma mbula. But my friend called Mbula. Wolu wolu be duty. He was the man on duty. Inata muta. When they caught me. Yen chamba kono do. They took me inside. Yen fai bungo kono. They threw they threw me into a room. Mbeje. I was there. One hour. One hour. Two hours. Two hours. Inata mbondi. Then they took me out. Mbula kono ko. Mbula Mbula told me. Jesus. Jesus. Esa. Esa. Ina nyungkola. Forget this issue. Asis. Asis. Abula alabulu. Leave him with God. Kai saying. I said to him now. Nga asisi bula alabulu. If I live as is with God. Wolu men na kodo benta bulu. Do those people whom I owe. Te bolu jola nyaadi. How would I pay them? Ko nya oto finti eta. He said to me then uh, leave, leave and go because if you spend the day here. Ni ti nyanta jang. If you spend the day here. Ni ti nyanta jang. If you spend the day there. Ko nyebe ibe fam banen nala. You will insult your own mother. Ka ye? I said ye. Nga moto ta woldo. I took a vehicle. Mu finti ta. I went out. Nda ta biam. I went to biam. Nko bari nyin kaw ku yata. I said but this is on the river. Nko na boss ma. When I got to my boss, a konye tata da me yajale. He asked me where you went. Did you see him? I said yes, I saw him. But I can't enjoy that. But he said he would not pay me. A problem was creating gang. He created a problem for me. Ko yon fay selo ko na je. Until I was thrown into inside the cell. Ko ole mendi. I said to him that was what delayed me. Mbeje, I was there. Mursa je kotange. I would return back again. A assist ra je. I found assist there. Ko assisi. I said assis nata menna what i came for nokodo my money left awalla that's what i want ko nyoko he said to me that di tey jang there's no money for you here niaje yekodo soto jang if i told you get any money here contract ko la kayto men signa then the contract documents that were signed wo le fintindi la that is what he will produce it ina kodo soto and then you will have access to your money abrayo fonye after he said that to me joyam fara i was terrified ko sim namon nje mira because i never thought about that ko assisi I said assis aito document when be signed that is signed nka enteni te bo signed al kiamal i said we will sign that in the hereafter kay nokodo i said my money ben nokodo jola you will pay my money wara enteni te oh you and i teta al kiamal you will go to heaven wara tangata al kiamal we go to heaven wara mem be kelaje or whatever should happen there wo ekaje let it be ko nyangela ko momoy i said i had you ko nyata go be call i will call you bita ya 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 i will go to ya ke ba ya to the elder nay ko dojo when he pays the money i will call you sinel ko dota and you will come and pick your money simulay i said okay kay say corona da well that's the time when terror came yeah now let's go there and talk about that ngata ngaw sa ta say menketa iko koro menketa abri murtaje i get i went back there ngany nin ka i asked him Akonyokota he told me to go ibina akodo kamale you will come for the money mbeje i was there lunkiling one day fitri kola after the after 7 o'clock in the evening yon kumandi they called me telephone auto on the phone bubai dimu so na tan kumandi bubai's daughter came to call me e ka fay satu dinding they called him satu dinding akonye nene dan ko telephone auto he told she told me to come and answer to the phone na ta telephone auto I came to the phone. Ma telephone nota. When I picked up the phone, Nadia Muta. I dis- I talked to him. I asked I asked who is that? Akonya Asis. He said Asis. Kabira yo fonye. When he said that, nka yebe min tole. I asked him where are you? Akonya fele kanillai. He said I am in Kanillai. Akonya sama. He said tomorrow. Isnele ko dokam. You can come for your money. Stafur lai janno be kala. Sorry before that. Kabirina yo diamoke. After discussing that with him. Nka sai mbe yaya jamme jela. 
I said to him now I will see Yaya Jamme face to face face to face na besila I will sit with him ben mata explain nay I'll explain this matter to him. but you said for le bekering whether that's what okay. e- e- existing he said okay kabirin tata when i went wularo ay en kole that evening he called me akonye samesh ne le kodo kama yaa e le kodo jole he said tomorrow come for your money yaa has paid your money ko bismillah i said okay ko satu dindi ye i said to satu dindi ka e teketa kayra moti i told her you have you are a person of a peace sama nimbot na nyen temando tomorrow if i come from kanila le sel 1000 dollars i'll give you 1000 dollars o samo fanokata the following day in the morning I took my tea, my breakfast. is my problem. Breakfast is my problem. Right, so you arrived at Kanilai. I looked for a vehicle. Kanilai. And went to Kanilai. I go to Kanilai around 10 because I did not get a vehicle early. Futata warning. I go to Woni. Ya yeah, jalaman yeah, korda bunda ni tambitala. Just as you pass Jalambasa <laughs> compound gate. Man kilimbe je ay tabulo da je kafay bakari. There was a man who had a table there they called bakari. Wala nyen kartan tan wala je man do be je wala subo tay je kafay fakaba. There was a man close by who who sells meat they call him fakaba. A butcher. Yes, a butcher they call him fakaba. Fakaba. Yes. Kabirin tatan sito bala. When I sat by him, ni wo be kachala. And I was chatting with that guy. He told me, what is, it, what is your reason for coming here? Every time you are always here. Fakabala said to me. I said to him, I'm here, I'm coming, I always come up to Assis. He shook his head. After he shook his head, I said to him, Fakaba, you asked me and I told you. And you are shaking your head. He said you are in a program with a bandit. I said, Aziz is a bandit. I said, no matter how much bandit he is, this money, he will pay it or it's my life or his life. I got off from Fakaba. Because Bakari is my friend. I went and I sat at Bakari's. I sat with him and we were chatting. I didn't see Aziz then. And he was the one that told me to come in the morning. And all of the time I was there, I didn't see Aziz with my eyes. I was sitting down. A very hefty man came. At that time, I did not know who Musa Jame was. He was a very hefty tall guy. When he came, he said, who is Esa Keta? I said, it's me. He told me, God, get up. Get up and come and answer. Akodi. He gave his, he, he turned around. I followed him. We took a few steps. We got to the gate. The time that I got in, he pushed me in front. He was behind me. He received a call. He was speaking in Jola. But I did not know what he was saying. Because Jola, apart from greetings, I don't understand anything. Anymore. After talking on the phone, he was in front of me. He went right in. Where they parked these ammo cars, there is a house nearby. When he reached that house, there was a boy called Baji. He called that Baji. He told Baji to bring the key. When Baji brought the key, I die, he opened the door. He went in. Ndunda. I went in. I la He opened another door. I ndundije. He pushed me inside. I town. He closed the door. I He went out. Eh, I was sitting inside. Mbeje. I was there. When Baji was passing, I called him. I said to him, my elder, he didn't even answer to me. When he was coming back, I called him again, my elder. He stood at the door. He asked me what has happened. I said, but I don't understand. 
the business that I came here for. Anunka na dum bungo kon jam fo bunda ka tawma. And now you come and bring me inside this room and lock me here. Kay mam fam I don't understand that. Akonya nta manyim fahamu musale musale dundi je musabatu. He told me I don't understand or I don't know anything Kaya Musa... going mbatu. He told me I don't know anything going on. It is Musa who brought you here. It is Musa who locked who told me to lock you in here. Nkaya musale I asked where is Musa? Akonya Musa fela dun tamoto ko na tata. He said Musa has just gotten into a vehicle and left. Nko Musa inde sama na njang. I said well Musa brought me here. I put me inside this room. I don't even know. We don't even know each other. He asked me, in fact, what brought, problem brought you here? I, I told him, Assis owes me money, which I have come to collect, and now he has put me here. But the data, but I kept quiet. I met a demanding for a long time. Akonya na keba. He said to me, my elder. Akonya te nyatli problem ola. He said you have faced a problem. Nka e nganyatli problem ola koha. I said I have faced a problem, and he said yes. Ha? Nko bora auto alaude. I said well then God. Ah ngato alabulu. I live with with God. Ntar tabungo konoje. I was in the room. Kabiringo around ten. From around ten. Tilibu te tilo nyama. In the morning. For suto eleven o'clock until eleven o'clock at night. Man domorke. I did not eat. Man jiming. I didn't drink water. Me sirim bungono. I was sitting in the room. Round kabiru musa mutanang. When musa returned. Round eleven twelve mavang. Around eleven or twelve. Anatanda palasoto. He came to my place. But the nabe futalama. But before he got to me. Anim baji diamuta. Is. Spoke to baji. At a fanga la mano doke ma anim mengkana noma. And he and another man that they were coming after me. Ngani ninka ako kafa iteni jafa jafa. I asked, and they said they call him Jaffa Jaffa. I said Jaffa Jaffa is not a name. Uh, huh? Slow, down. Slow down a bit. Huh? <clears throat> okay. So the other man is called Jaffa Jaffa. You told him that Jaffa Jaffa is not a name. Proceed, please. I told him that wasn't a name. When he comes to me, I die. Eh? He will open the door. Baji bello ring banta. Baji datu je. Baji was standing outside by the door. Musa dun tangkang. Musa came to me. I net kunci obandi. He removed the lock. Otu mumbe siring. That time I was sitting. Akomu wuli. And he told me to get up. Kabiru wul tal lota. When I got up and stood. I net dene ka kolom utateng. He held my shirt and pulled me towards him. I blow for the palm. And he slapped me hard. For dunia wule tamfe. Until the whole place was. Kabiru ayam bula watu mena. When he released me, my, I was dizzy. I leaned on the wall. He said to me, Esa. He said to me, you are a rebel. I said, Musa. That is not true. He said, you are insulting me. I said, no, I'm not insulting you. Is what you are saying, which is not the truth. Uh, this Musa, what was his last name? Musa Musa Jamme. Do you know of any other name by which he is called? Anyani Mungo. I can't do. I can't find Malia Mungo for Malini Mungo. Malia Mungo. How many of them? That's Musa Jamme. Musa Jamme. Malia Mungo. Yeah, Malia Mungo. Okay. So proceed, please. I'm quite tempted. So, Kabiri, I I walk it up. When that happened, Lota, I stood. <coughs> I leaned on the wall. I was still feeling dizzy. Because I was hungry too. I didn't eat. He told me nothing has happened as yet. The guns that they took to Kasamas. <laughs> you are part of the people uh, responsible for that. When he said that, I said in my mind, things used to happen, but uh, the mode of everything has happened today. I said to Musa, Musa sila alala, Musa fia Allah. Kaya nyim kido problem o mam feloje bila fanga mbamo e kontrolo. I know nothing about the guns you are talking about. I'm just hearing about it. I slapped Kotenge. He slapped me again. Nsembeta wero bara. I live on the wall again. He said, nothing has happened to you as yet. What will be peace for you? 
that you accept that you are a rebel, if you don't deny that, the crocodiles will eat you. Which crocodiles is he referring to? Crocodiles were in Kanilai. There was a big swimming pool that was prepared for the crocodiles. A swimming pool or a pond? swimming pool. Where now, I can now call it uh, a big pool. hole. But uh, this, I can call it a big hole with water. Uh, I said, uh, really? And he said, yes. I said, then there's no problem. So, I no problem was starter. so I, the problem started. I was under the control. One month. One month. 20 days. 20 days. And in killing. That day, God allowed me to escape. But before that day, problem the problems that happened, I am going to narrate them. Ten, ten. After that happened, He said to me, the crocodiles will eat you up. I said, the crocodiles will eat me up. And he said, yes. I said, there is no problem. I said, whatever God destines, that is what happens. But problem I said, but this was not in my mind that this money will lead me into this problem. If I knew, I wouldn't have come. I said, these things you are saying, that I am a rebel, or that I know something about the guns. I said, I have a problem with Assis. He hit me again. There is no Assis talking. He said there is no assist talking. So, your talk now is about the rebellion the guns that you have taken here and smuggled to Casamas. That's okay, not the issue. Okay, the rebellion the guns that you have taken here and smuggled to Casamas. That's okay, not the issue. Munga repeat koten gan kai wante tonyati. I repeated again and told him that that was not the truth. Okay, bunda sorong. He locked the door. Tata. He went. Baji nata. Baji came. Around Sarfana Salkola. Around 8 p.m. after that, after two, sorry, sorry, after two. Ko baji. And said, Baji. Baji, konko benna. Baji, I'm hungry. Mindo benna. I'm thirsty. Abiru Musa yundundi jang. Since Muta, Musa put me here. Mando mursoro. I didn't have any food. Manji soro. I didn't have any water. Iyan kan katle jang. And I'm here just suffering. Ma ko inga domorok. Help me so that I'll eat. He said there is no food now. I can assist you with water. But we must take an, uh, uh, make an agreement. Musa is my senior. And whatever he touched me, I will do it. And he has asked me not to give you any water. Not to give you any food. Now if I give you water, if Musa comes, he will not be aware of anything. I told him, apart from God, I will not tell him. I said, help me, because if you don't help me, now I am tired. Even my veins are weak. He brought water for me. I drank a little. And my stomach started to eat. To, to I couldn't drink anymore, and I placed the water. Around five to six, Around five or six, they brought a bowl. Ding, 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 ding. It's a little food. They put it inside. That time I was hungry. Three handfuls. After I took them and ate, I took and ate. It was finished from the bowl. After it was finished, I said, My elder, my stomach is not full. He said, I have this aim for you and gave you this. He said, if Musa were here, he wouldn't have given you food. Because this is what he said, that we should punish you and stab you of food and water. So that your veins become weak. So that even when he comes to you, whatever he wants to do to you, he will be able to do. I said, but my elder, Musa, is he a non-believer or a Muslim? He asked me, why are you asking this question? What's the reason behind it? I said to him, because I sit with that. The honor that is in a human being. Even if there was a problem between me and Musa, 
like the one that has been uh, put on me now. You shouldn't have done this to me. Because I don't have a problem with him. Because I don't have a problem with him. The problem is between me and Asis Tamba. Baji told me. If you are talking, remove, don't even mention Asis's name. If you continue mentioning Asis's name, if you, are, if you, you should live for five days, you will live for only two days. I said to him, yeah, you mean I shouldn't mention Asis's name? He said yes. He said because the document that Musa showed me and that paper doesn't have Asis's name. That means that the AK-47 rifles which were taken from here to Kazamas, your name is written on that paper. I told him I don't even know what an AK-47 is. I don't know guns. And sir, slow down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I said I don't even know what is an AK-47. I know, I know no program, gun program. Program moment is The program that brought me here. Which is Assis's program. Now, if you tell me not to mention his name, what am I going to say? He said to me, now it is left with, with you. Tata. And he left. Baji Tata. Baji left. Till the killing. A day later. Till the Two days later. Till the Three days later. Till nani. Four days. Till the The fifth day. Be bungo kono. I was in the room. Can do the bundle ngomeng kono. The small room that I was kept in. They took me. They took and me out salo. to the to the sitting room. Nibe salo kono. When you are inside the sitting room. Then you are nyale ka beleje. In front of you, you see everything. O till the On the fifth day. Nataje. I noticed that. So jaroning. Soldiers came with a man to me. At that time, I did not know who Sana was. I didn't know Sana Manjang. When he came with that man, he had a bag. He had a gun. The gun is the length of my hand. The butt was shot. The magazine of the gun was inside magazine, the, the magazine, gun. Magazine, and there were two other extra magazines which had stereotypes on it. When he came inside, Baji, Baji saluted the soldier. He opened the door. Can go and go fucking pack this man? Come and, come and fucking pack this man. Sana le otafo. Sana said that. Ah. Which Sana? Sana Sana Manjang. That time I did not know who Sanamanjang was, but later on, as things went, I came to know that he and was Sanamanjang. What was he at the time? Sanamanjang was Munetinu Mutumo. So I used to see him with military uniforms. Proceed, please. Yes, acquaintance. In military uniform. When they brought him inside where I was, a man greeted me. Yes. He greeted me in Jola. I said to him, I don't understand Jola much. I said to him, I am Mandinga. He said to me, I too speak Mandinga. Did he, te did he tell you his name? I asked him, what is your name? He said, Kajali. Did he give you a last name? Kajali Jamme. Kajali Jamme. I said, I said, I said, I said, Kajali Jammi, he said, yes. He said, but they call me Lecoq amongst the rebels. I said, I said to him, what brought you here? That time, Musa and the others had gone, and Sana too had gone. And I was with him, the two of us. Baji was sitting facing us. That soldier was a good soldier. Baji. Baji. Baji is good. When we were discussing, I asked him, what brought you here? He said he brought cannabis to sell and uh, as a buy, living to buy food. To buy food, buy food okay. yes. And return back to the jungle. He said when he got to Kanilai, 
behind Kanila a little bit. I didn't call a singe. He dug a hole. I yam on in Kido Mabawato. He hid his cannabis and he's gone. Kokabra Fintan and Satokono. He said when he came into the village, the Murumurumkang, he was going around and in Sana Benda. He met up with Sana. Tumo inform Tala. That time he was not dressed in uniforms. Kwaya Nininka. He said he asked him, Akaiko Itebe Jankol Tibang, Item Itebe Stead in Janabang. He asked him, Are you from here? Do you live here? Ako Sanakai Ha. He said, Sana said to him, Yes. Kaya Munaketa. He said to him, What happened? Kajale Kanyum Fonade. This is what Kajali was telling me. Because Utumanta Mantraje. At that time, I wasn't there. Nan Nininka a problem or a sign car explaining. I asked him about his problem, and, and now sir, he we was. Have, we have a lot to cover. So we have to uh, uh, at least make the narrative more focused. Okay. So after that, he said to Sana, I have cannabis. He said to him, let's go there. He said he led him. When they got to the back of the village, where he hid these things, he, he, they were bring, removing them out. Sana nata kidoje. Sana then saw the gun. Ako kabirin sana nyai kidoje damen. He said as soon as Sana's eyes saw the gun. Ko yotu mo kidobe sana bulu barata fana mo long. At that time, Sana was having a gun which he did not know. It is to mo pistol. He had a pistol. Ako sana ya bondi ten negron. He said Sana remove it like this. Alo atu atu lokon. And put it inside on his ear. Ako you are on the arrest. And said to him, you are on the arrest. Ko ako nye kesh keteten. He said to me, this was how the case developed. As they were on their way coming, he tried to escape. Sana held him. They exchanged blows. They fought. People came. They assisted Sana. And he arrested him. And escorted him. And, and, him and, and brought him. And he, that's how he found me. Where I was on the fifth day. I was there. The killing. One day after, till till turning, till turning, full of sort of long menna. The day I got twelve days. Twelve days. Olu no mai kajali fa. That was the day he killed kajali. But whilst kajali was there, did anybody? Did he bring anybody else, or he did not? Kajali bije tu mai menna. Five more do fana na tila bang. Ni more do man na falo. So tell us. So tell us how he killed kajali. Afanya ngai kajali fa nyam. Bring anata watu menna. When he came. Around Sutwalam. It was at night. Time or Tamul. I don't have time. More time or Jamfata. But it was late. Because what you want in Tanga Because in those days, if I hear somebody in the Kijoka Tile, I always get fear because in me. Musa Kana Kambunda Kambute Fasa Wesi I Murundi. Because Musa comes to me, he takes me out, he beats me to his satisfaction, and locks me up again and go. Can you tell us about those beatings before we get to the killing of Kajali? The amount of beatings I went through too much. For no problem last last Kajali Kaiba Kajali Fala Lumena. The day they killed Kajali, Walum Musa Nata Purkan Kati. That day Musa came to break me into two. But, I am but, commanding uh, Ensa. Ensa. Let's, let's start from the first day. Uh, of torture. You told us that the very first day you were put into that room, he slapped you several times. When next did he uh, torture you? After slapping me those slaps, after five five days, five days. After, kajali five, after five days, they brought Kajali. That's the day my beating started. Musa doesn't because give me a chance. Fa ko be lolete. He told me to say that I am a rebel. Kongo kulongo kidola kuol konole. He said I should say that I knew something about those guns. Wale fanga ebute ro si kang. This is what brought a lot of beatings but on man me. Songola. But I never agreed to that. Tell us about the beatings. How did it happen? What would he do to you? I kela, I bute nyadile. Nanyum bulolu. My hands. I wale ya wale muta teng koma teng. They held my hands behind me. Ni Musa ben bute la. When Musa is beating me. Ikafu me jafa jafa. The man they call jafa jafa. Wale kana shambu di ala ikamuta. That's the man who empowers him. Yen city fonga fo ayi pare. They will tie me up. 
My legs will be stretched. And I'll bend down. The rope that they used to tie my legs. That's the same rope they will hang, they will bring around my neck. Now I am tired. I'm tied up. Musa will come and stand over me. Beat me up. Beat me up. Until he is satisfied. What he will it is, it's a black pipe. But where I was, it's not far from where other people live. Whenever he's coming to beat me up, he will be having a plaster. The plaster they used to cut with scissors. He will come and tape my mouth. He will pull it until he's satisfied. He leaves my nose, but he will start beating up. I will try to shout, but my voice will not be heard outside. When he's done, he will go out. When Baji comes, he will be sympathetic about my issue. But he will not, uh, he will be he would, he will uh, afraid of uh, touching me. When you, the, that plaster leaves my mouth, it's when they bring me food, and I'll eat. That was how I was there. But Kajali's problem, I was there, on the twelfth day, around night I was there I heard the sound of a car engine I stood up and uh, scanned my eyes around I didn't see anything I was there all of a sudden I saw light they came and stood they called Baji he asked where is Musa he said Musa just left here with a vehicle to the state house because he had this black, big black car which had many antennas that was one Musa used he said Baji open the door and bring this fucking man out who was that? who was that? who said that? that was Sana ah. Sana who? Sana Manjang Okay. When Baji opened the door, they brought Kajali out of the cell. Kajali spoke to them in Jola. But Baji, what, uh, Baji responded to him saying, That's to say, I do not know what is happening. Ah. They brought Kajali out. Sana said to him that the day that I arrested you, you wanted to show me that you were powerful. But today you are under my control. I will kill you and chop off your head and take it inside and give your meat to the, to the crocodiles. And that, was, and that was what he did. Take it step by step. After demanding, demanding. Tell us what Sana told Lecoq. Kajali. Funyeng saya kang Sana emem for Kajali. Dukaria for doman doman. Okay. He said to him that. On the day that I arrested you. You were resisting. To the extent that you were even throwing blows at me. You thought that you were trained. But I was I am more trained than you are. But today you are here under my control. Whatever pleases me, I will do to you. There is no other that society my order in this society here. I will kill you. I will take your head inside. I will take your meat and give them, give it to the crocodiles. In which language was Sana speaking to Lecoq? In the Mandinka language. It was not English or French. It was Mandinka. Kajali speaks Mandinka as Mandinka himself. And did you hear this clearly? It was, not, it was not hidden from me. That time, when I see these people, I am not concentrated because I am not concentrated because I am not concentrated. 
because the moment I set eyes on these people, I take them as the angel of death. When he said this to Kajali, uh, just a moment. He said, I would take your head inside. Yeah. And and you would meet, we would give it to the crocodile. And what did you understand when he said, I will take your head inside? That did you know exactly what he was talking about? Because you Because it was not only Kajali whose head was taken inside. Yamajeju. Okay, we would come to that. Okay. We would come to that. Okay. Let's now talk about Kajali. Ah. Yes. What did you understand? when Sana said, we will take your head inside. At that time, after, after Kajali died, allow the interpreters to interpret what okay. you say. After Kajali died, he killed him in the night. I was sad. That night I said things I wasn't supposed to say. But that time I was frightened. I was even questioning God why he brought me into the world. But that was not my intention. That time I was not myself. Did you, do you know how Kajali was killed? A cutlass. Cutlass. Yes, he placed him on the Not ground. That he didn't place him on the ground. And slaughtered him. They were, stand, uh -huh. they were standing face to face discussing Kajali. It was a big cutlass which Kapo was in, in Sana's hand, which had stops on both sides. They call it in Mandinka as Habisaro. That's what he was having, a sword, a fighting in, sword. In, 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 in. They were standing facing each other. When he when he's finished talking to Kajali, Kajali he said to Kajali, I will kill you. Kasamas. You will never go back to Kasamas. You are the people who come here with guns and commit crimes here. Kajali, Kayako, Kajali said to him, Really, truly, I am a rebel. MDC. MFDC. But we are not criminals. We I brought something here for which I'm going to sell. If I sell it, I will have something to buy food. That's what brought me here. He said to Kajali, you are lying. He said to Kajali, in fact, my uh, discussion with you will not be long. I, I was standing at the door, I held the door like this. I was listening to them. Baji was sitting down. He turned his chair, looking at them. He was standing. He was having this sword. He was, there was a friend of him, a soldier like him, standing behind what, him. Do you know that soldier's name? Yes, soldier wrote all of them. No, no, I didn't know his name that, at that instant. But after that, I later on came to know him. That's Suleiman Sol. Suleiman Sol. Sol is... He's a, he was a close friend to Sana. Yeah. They used to go together. What et, of what ethnicity? Munsile Mwati. Jolalam. Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu also, which profession was he in? Suleiman Sambu at the Munila, Mumola Mata, Bemundo Kula Utumu. I always see him Sana in Sana. Sana on Aje. Whenever Sana comes there, Hani Yamulmen Mutana, Ninsi Sunyal, Niomulmen Samana Yebefa, even Suleiman Nik Sanakana. Even those who were caught stealing cattle and they were brought there and killed, Suleiman is always with Sana. Okay. Would you say he was a soldier as well? So, so, soldier in mobile. He had military uniforms. Okay. Proceed, please. So, so Sana was there, up. Suleiman was standing, uh, Baji was sitting. Yes. Uh, you were standing by the door yeah. watching. Tell us what happened. He said to Kajali that your time has come to an end. 
I see nothing else except to kill you. I, I have arrested you. You did not beg me. And you are hitting me, attempting to escape. But here you will not escape. You are inside my mouth and I will eat you up. That was when he held the sword. He wanted to cut his head. I, that, no, it that, was, was, that he was going to cut his head, I never thought of that. I never thought a human being would stand and uh, watch another human being. Your eyes are locked to at each other and you take a sword and chop off his head. I never thought of that. Honeybees, honeybee. Even up to the date. Metal. It's been a long time. But what Sometimes I used to have night nightmares about it. When he swung the sword on Skajali, the blood splotted out as if if you killed the, the song was wiggling inside the mouth as if he was trying to mumble something which was not audible. He, went, he held the sword, went could, after Kajali's head, could, and... Could you come out and demonstrate to us yes. how it happened? Funti come out, come dinna. in the middle here. Na tema jena, tema, 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 ya itandina. Tanya to domanding. Uh, hold a second. Uh, can you bring a microphone to him? But a microphone or not here. Can we hold the microphone for him? Yeah. Do you have Sila asata bang. Abira lota. When he stood, ako kajali yoko. He said to kajali, itela watu bandale. Your time is finished. Nte better lajele. We will meet you there. Kajali kayoko. Kajali said to him, I'm not afraid to die. I, because I know that if I die today, one fine day you will find me in the next world. That's what made Sana more angry. He insulted the man's mother. When he insulted the mother, he just turned the sword and swung the sword. Kajali's head went this way, and the body fell on the other side. At that instant, I was unable to uh, recognize anything, because, because I was so terrified that uh, I, I cannot recognize anything, because since the day I was born, I have never seen anything like this. But when the head fell down, the tongue was wiggling inside the man's because mouth. Because even somebody standing at a distance, you demanding. You, even if somebody standing at a distance, you will hear the, the noise that the tongue was making in the man's mouth. That's the time when Sana came. He stamped on the man's head. So the body was shaking. That's the time I came to know Suleiman Sambu's name. Sanu turned. Solomon. He said, Solomon, bring me back. Bring a bag for me. Suleiman came. Put his hand inside the pocket. He took out a bag. He opened the bag. Sana held the man's head, Kajali's head. He put his two fingers in the man's nostrils. He took up the man's head and told him everything will be clear now. He put the man's head inside the bag. They left. Baji and others came. Washed of the blood. After when they started washing of the blood. Sana came and displayed there. Could you take your seat again? Stein Tasi. Do do you know where they went with the head? Yalo ne yewo kumo samba damembang. Mbafuta lota fana ne ningombo tala sa India mo bejaka silale. Okay. I will go to come there. If I want to narrate that now, okay, things will be mixed up. Sana Baxter. When Sana became angry. Akobaji yoko mune jumala koe janku. He asked Baxter. Fanteleni ebula kula bang. Mbatu. He asked Baji, who asked you to wash this place? Mm -hmm. Did I order you to wash the blood off here? Baji said, I didn't want the blood to get dried here. Then Sana said to him, bullshit. He said to Baji, Pull, drag this body and bring him and place him on top of this cement slab. 
He told Baji that the crocodiles will be fed with this man's meat. Ayala yeah. nyinsimo jamkundu. He chopped off his leg from here. Natala teoto ay teoto kundu. He came to his waist and he chopped it off. Kabirayo kundu watu mena. After he cut it off. Siso la nying. The chest this part. Ayala nditeng. He placed it like this. He took a cutlass. He tore it in the middle. Suleiman Sambu brought a bag, a sack. I recognized the sack. It was a sugar bag. When they put him inside, who did the chopping? Jumale yo sepuroke. Sana. Sana. Sana manjang. Sana manjang. Tela kundu. He chopped. Suleiman ye karado muda. Suleiman held onto one side. He held onto one side. They faced where the lions were kept. Because behind the lions you had the crocodiles. He said, let's fucking give it to give him to the crocodiles to have it have him for dinner. When they returned back, that was when he said to Baji, now wash up this place. He turned and looked at me. He said to Baji, what brought this man here? He said he's Musa's uh, stranger. They returned with Suleiman. They went. On the 12th, that 12th day, days, when I was getting onto the 15th day, Musa, Musa Jamme, at this stage, did you get to know what happened to the head of Lekok? The head? 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 To inside the Ajame, inside this house, that's where the heads go to. How did you know that? I was facing there. I asked Baji and he said these heads used to go to the elder. Because the day that he was sent that to me, that was the day that that girl Yama, Yama was killed. Yama had uh, beards. He said, this girl with the beard is uh, what they used for Yaya Jamis uh, idols. That's what they used to operate <laughs> on. That was what, according to what Baji said to me. Mr. Chair, it's about time for the lunch break. Thank you. We leave it, we leave it at that for now. Thank you very much, Council. And... Uh, Thank you, Mr. Keter. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Chair, I have just been uh, rightly uh, advised by Mariama that perhaps maybe this is one such occasion when we would advise viewer discretion, especially kids who are watching. Parents should be advised that perhaps maybe kids should not listen to this because it's gruesome, it's terrible. As we continue, you mean, or... Because yes, the as other we one continue already, as well. Yeah. In fact, perhaps I should have uh, raised this warning perhaps earlier. But Fine. Understood. Thank you. Badingulu, lead council came for the Nakumayata back. Kebalu, Emanyana Sonna, Dindunguli, Lamuini, Nakajube, Tele member for Kanteng. Katu, you member Sata Kanteng, Kusangara Balem, Kahadama Dingumuta Kabusu. Umukuleti me ya longa keja wiyata asangarata wala na lead council be ya maro di la ko kebalu meno be swalu kono ikana son dindingu liyesi ke lamwe ni mkumola wala meno baaji be la teleto puru yesi ya lamwe lead council yoyi ya maro le design adunga kumayata bakele. Shocking that the Manda State would stoop to that level in the Gambia. Chama nfanga la kumakamu akoni mu kijate waleti. Kubuna banko fango menuma anyato nkoldi. Wali siso nye nyonku fasa mweleke nye mbanku nga. We will take a one hour break and come back at 2.30. Meeting is adjourned. Mbe mwantoro wa adikilinda hata.